Hello! So in this video we're going to be looking at area mazes, which are these amazing puzzles that I have recently gotten into, and uh, most of the puzzles in this video, in fact pretty much all of them, come from this amazing book, which I will link in the description below. Um, they're just glorious puzzles that really make you think deeply about area, and what area is, um, and they're just absolutely lovely. So I, I've also made them into like a worksheet, which you can also download in the link below. So if you want to play along with me, uh, you can get that PDF and you can just be working through it. Or what I suggest is, as I work through the video, just pause between things and just try them out. This video is going to be level one, so it's going to be the most straightforward these puzzles are basically and can be. You can see that by the first question on the screen where you're trying to find this length. You're trying to find what this question mark, what this length is, which is not too tricky. And then in later videos, we're going to do level two, build, and then eventually building up to this absolutely massive, amazing one, which we'll see in a later video. So let's start off by looking at this first one. Now, these are all rectangles, and we know that if this length is two, this length over here, and the area of this is six, this length has to be three. And I'm going to ignore units, uh, so because two times three is six. Similarly, if this length is two, we have another length here that is two centimetres, which means that this one has to be five centimetres. And then the whole length is just eight centimetres. And that's pretty much it for that one. Pretty straightforward. So we're going to work through a bunch of these. Uh, and for each one, I suggest pause between them, try them yourself, uh, and then I'll go through the answers. OK, this is level one. This is like the, the first ones. Uh, so we have an area of 45. This length up here is five, which means that this length needs to be nine, because five times nine is 45. Similarly, this length is nine, and this length is nine. This is going to be a theme for level one. It's just moving our way around these shapes, finding separate lengths. And now if the area of this big shape is 72, this guy has to be eight, because eight times nine is 72. So this guy down here is eight. And if the area is 32, this length is four. So this length is four, because four times eight is 32. So the answer is going to be four. In the book, they always use inches, which I think is interesting, because we never tend to do that in British schools, but why not? So the answer to this one is four. Okay, the next one. Once again, pause between each one. A lot of these first level ones you can pretty much do in your head, so that can be a nice challenge for you to do. So uh, here we go. Oh, a key thing to say about these is they can all be done without fractions. So you should never have to use... If you're using something that's not an integer, not a whole number, there is a better way. So you should always be trying to solve these with integers only. So for example, there's no point in finding this length here. We'd have to do 32 divided by 6, which is not an integer, not a whole number. And you could do that, but all these puzzles can be done without doing that, which is what makes them so cool, is you do not need any fractions. And if you are using fractions, something's going wrong. So here you can see that this length, x, is irrelevant. This is 6, and for the record, this is 6. The area is 42, so this length is 7. Now, once again, I don't need this length because straight away I see that this length is 7 and this 56 is a multiple of 7, so this length is 8 because 7 times 8 is 56. And once again, I do not care what the... Uh, this 49 is just there because this length is the same as this length, so it's 8. And there we go. The answer is 8. OK, let's keep it going. What do we have here? Now, what... Just while you're doing it, what I really love about these is they, they get you and students to think, look, what do I know? And that's a classic exam technique, is just thinking, what can I do? Here I've got an area of 33 and a length of 3, so what do I know? Well, this length has to be 11. And actually, this bit is 2. This bit is 3, which we get from up here. So we know that this length has to be 6, because 3 plus 2 plus 3. 3 plus 6 plus 2 is 11. So this bit is 6, which is going to help us. Now we just need this one. And what do we know? Well, this rectangle has an area of 21, a base of 3, so this length has to be 7. This bit's 2, so this bit has to be 5. So this shape is just 5 times 6, which is 30. So the area is just 30. So this is just trust your instincts and just think, what can I work out? And let's do it. Okay, the next one. Okay, what do I have here? Well, 
3 times what is 6? That's a 2. So that's a 2. 2 times what is 8? That's a 4. Uh, this shape altogether adds up to 17, uh, adds up to 14. And you can see it's actually identical to this shape here because it has, it shares this length of 7. And so this length up here has to be 2 as well. So we have that this whole length, which is also down here, is 4, which means that this length has to be 5. So what do we have here? How can we use that to find our answer? What is this going to be? Can we work it out? I feel like we probably can quite easily. Well, we know this whole length is 12. Yeah, we know this whole length is 12 because it's 5 plus 4 plus 3. And so to get to 60, this length has to be 5 because 12 times 5 is 60. So the answer is 5. Wonderful. Let's keep going. Okay, uh, this one. What's so nice about this is there's so this will just flow so nicely. So if this is 5, this has to be 4. So all of these are also 4. So this is 4, which means that this one up here is also 4, which means that this is 4, which means that this is 6, which is great, because that gives us that that length is 6. Now, if this is 5, because it's the same as the one up here, this one is 7, what will that tell us? All of these are 7, so this is 7, so this one is 6, because 7 times 6 is 42. What else do we have? We have uh, this being 6, so this one has to be 8 which means that this one has to be 8, which means that this one has to be 4, because 4 times 8 is 32. So this is 4, so this is 4. And now we get back to the shape in question, and it's just a 6 times 4. It's just 24. And it's inches squared, but the area is 24. How nice is that? The puzzle uses what we've been doing so far and just flows around this big rectangle getting there. Such, such a nice puzzle. Okay, this one. Um... So once again, hopefully you're trying these yourself. What can we work out? This length is four. Uh, this whole length is six, which means that this length is three. This whole length is nine, and we already have a four and a three. So this length up here is two to make nine, which means that this whole length is 10. And so this bit, which we care about, is gonna be 10 minus three minus 3 because this length this length and this length add to 10 so this one is going to be 4 inches so nice the answer here is 4 how about this one so what do we know we're going to need to find this length here probably uh, if this one is 6 then this one is 6 so this one is 8 you can see all these level 1 ones there's not loads of steps and we'll see later in the level two and the level three and the later ones it gets pretty crazy some of the uh, logic you need to use so this is eight so this is eight and then this is nine because eight times nine is 72 this is also a great way to just build your quick times table skills which is very important if this is nine to get to 36 this is four to get to 20 we have four times five so that's five as well, so that's five as well, which means that this length has to be six, because five times six is 30. So this length is six, and there we go. We have that this is six times six, those two. So it's just 36. So my answer is 36. Oh, these, they just flow so nicely. What, what a wonderful way to practice basic area and just an, an, a true understanding of what happens when you have lengths that are the same and that the area that they give you it's just just lovely okay um let's do this one what can we work out here well luckily 48 is a multiple of six so i can see that this is eight eight times six is 48 uh if this whole bit is eight then this bit is also eight but we know the whole length is 11 so this bit down here is three so we have eight plus three is 11 which means that this length here is nine because three times nine is 27 the whole length is 14, so this bit is 5. And what else can we do? Oh, the whole length is 14, so this bit has to be 8. 32 is in the 8 times table, it's 8 times 4. 
So if this length is 4 and the whole thing's 11, this bit has to be 7. And so we have a shape that is 5 by 7, which is 35. Glorious. So the answer here is 35. Uh, okay, let's do this one. 4 times 6 is 24. So this length is 6, so this length is 6, so this whole length is 11. And note, we, we don't need to find this length here. And 54 is not in the 11 times table, so it wouldn't be a fraction, and so it's not that important to us. But if the whole bit's 11, and this bit is 3, this bit has to be 8. And so we have this whole length being 8 plus 6, which is 14, and 14 is a factor of 70. 70 divided by 14 is 5. We should 70 divided by 14 is 5 to find this missing length. So the answer is 5. We didn't need to find everything here. We just used what we knew and flowed through the puzzle. Oh, so good. Uh, okay. This one, we, there's a bit more going on here, but still, what can we work out? Well, this shape here has to have an area of 18. Does that help us? This length is going to be 6, because 6 plus 3 is 9. This shape has an area of 6 times 8, which is 48. Not sure that helps us. Okay, this length is 6, and the whole thing's 10, so this one is 4. Here we have this whole bit is 8. And look, if this bit is 2, this bit has to be 5, because the whole of it is 7. And if that bit's 5, and the whole of this length, in fact, let's use a different colour here, the whole, not the eraser, the whole of this length is 8, then we have that this has to be 3, because 5 plus 3 would give me 8. What's this 8 doing here? Maybe I knew that this whole length out here was 8. Either way, that's what these come from. And so if this is 3 and this is 4, the area is 3 times 4, which is 12. Oh, gotta love these puzzles. Um, are we finished level 1? No, we've got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Ooh, 5 left. Let's try and do this a bit quicker. Let's see how quick we can do these. So... 7 times 3 is 21, so this length is 3, so this whole length is 7, so this length up here has to be 4, because 4 times 7 is 28. This length is 4, this whole length is 7, which means this length is 5, because 5 times 7 is 35. Oh, this, this is so nice. This length is 5, this whole length is 7 again, so this length has to be 2, because 7 times 2 is 14. And look, that's what we're trying to find. This length is 2. Oh, that was wonderful. Great puzzle done really quickly okay again remember to be pausing it trying it do these one level one you should be trying in your head i think or you can make little notes if you want to as well so this we've got six times five five times seven is 35 so this is seven seven times eight is 56 eight times 10 is 80 if this is 10 and this is six this one here is four four times nine is 36 so this bit this whole bit is 9, we know that this bit is 5, so this bit, which is kind of like this bit here, is 4, so this length is 4, because the 4 plus the 5 gives me that length of 9. Amazing! So the answer is 4. Another couple, this guy. Cool, so what can we work out here? Loads, we can work out loads here. This length is 3, 3 times 3 is 9, this length is also 3, because 3 times 4 is 12, if that length is 5, this length has to be 8. If that length is 6, this length has to be 9, because 9 times 6 is 54. Now, if this whole bit, let's use a highlighter. If this whole bit is 9, that means that this bit has to add to 9, which means that this guy is 6, because 3 plus 6 is 9. That's this length. Similarly, up here we have an 8, down here we have a 3. So this bit has to be 5, because 5 plus 3 is 8. So this is 6 times 5, which is 30. Glorious. Okay, once again, let's see how fast we can do this one. 8 times 5 is 40, this bit's 5, so this bit is 10 because it has to add up to 15. This bit is 3, 3 times 10 is 30. Uh, that means this bit is 5, does that help us? This bit's 5. Okay, this bit's 10, so this bit is also 5. Uh, so this bit is 5. 
Mm, oh wait, this whole length is 10, and th this whole length is 10, this bit's 5, this bit's 5. 5 times what is 60, that's 12. So this whole length is 12 plus 5, which is 17. Glorious. Glorious. One more, I think. Yeah, one more before we get to level 2. See if you can do it in your head. By now you should have seen lots of different examples. Remember to be pausing me, go back, try myself, all that stuff. Eight times six is 48. Six times eight, 48. Um, seven times eight is 56. So this bit has to be a four, because this bit has to be an eight. Uh, nine times five is 45. Now if this length is nine and this bit's four, this bit has to be five, so that helps us. If this bit is four, this bit has to be a one to make a five like this. Um, okay, this bit is, what else have we got here? Mm, feel like this should be quite easy and yet we don't have it. What length am I missing? Hmm, what length am I missing here? This bit is three. Wait, why is that three? I don't know, it's three. Oh wait, I do. This bit's five because of this. The whole thing is eight. This bit is three, and this bit is three, so this whole length is six. So this bit has to be six, because six times six is 36. This bit's one, so this bit has to be five, and so this thing in the middle is five times five. Nice, nice. Once again, it's all about just, I just thought to myself, okay, what do I know? What can I work out here? What can I label and see if it helps me? So my answer is 25. So they're the end of level one. Um, I'll leave you with one more, which is a glimpse for level two. We'll do another video where we do level two, um, which is this one, which I think is, is so interesting because it feels like you just do not have enough information here, but you do. And look, you can see 11 times, 11 times this whole shape all together. Oh wait, this is, this question is actually easier than I expected. I did it way differently, I think, but try it, pause the video, try it yourself. Okay, hopefully you're back. Hopefully you've tried it. Now in this one, this whole shape, this whole shape is 35 plus 42, which is 77 which means that this length has to be seven, which means that this length has to be six. Now, that's actually not, that's a great te technique for level two and later, where you add shapes together to find their total areas. But I think there's a, there's a more interesting way of thinking about this one, which is we kind of have a bar model here. We have that this length is 11, and we have this bar here, which is some area, and it's been split. Okay, that's a terrible line. Let me just rub that one out. It's been split so that one part is 35, one part is 42. So we kind of have, it's been split into a ratio of 35 to 42. We're trying to find this length. So we're kind of sharing 11 in the ratio 35 to 42. So if we simplify this ratio, uh, which they're both in the seven times tables, so that's five to six. You can see that actually this adds up to 11. We're really sharing this ratio, sharing this area of the whole shape in a ratio five to six. And it just so happens that five plus six is 11, which means that this length has to be five. This length has to be six. So actually using ratios is a great way to do later problems. So I will leave you with this one to think about, which we will look at in level two in another video. Remember, you can download the worksheet below, so you can use it in class, or you can just try it yourself. There's loads on that work. There's like, it goes up to level five. There's like 70 questions. They all came from that book, which I showed at the beginning, which I'll also link in the description below, which was really, really fun to work through. Um, and yeah, thank you very much for watching.